What's going on guys, Arrow here and welcome back to another video. Now in today's video, I want to talk to you guys about Super Smash Bros Ultimate DLC and the possibility of who the next DLC character is going to be. Alright, so we're officially in June now, which means E3 is just a couple days away, and without a doubt, 100% we are definitely going to be seeing the next Super Smash Bros Ultimate DLC character at Nintendo's E3 presentation. And while pretty much anyone can get into this game, I feel like it would be fun to make a video just giving you guys my speculation and theories for who I think would be the best character to be revealed for Super Smash Bros or who I think would be the most likely character at E3, and then we could come back to this video and see if we got any of them right, or if it ended up being a character that nobody even thought of. So we'll discuss some of my possibilities and then also take a look at some Twitter responses to see what you guys have to say. Now real quick before we get started, I just want to give a quick shout out to the sponsor of today's video, The Coldest Water. With summer approaching, the next few months are going to be hot and you're going to need some cool drinks to stay hydrated. The Coldest Water is a revolutionary new water bottle that can keep your drinks icy cold for up to 36 hours. It uses a special no sweat technology that prevents it from getting all bubbly on the outside and is also odor resistant so that your drinks don't start smelling bad after being inside of a metal container for so long. So if you'd like to take the opportunity and switch to pretty much the only water bottle that you're ever going to need for the rest of your life, as it does come with a lifetime warranty, then definitely be sure to click the link below and use code ARROW for 10% off of your order. There's even a giveaway link that you can enter to win a bottle for free, and thank you so much again to The Coldest Water for sponsoring this video. Now in terms of Smash characters, if you guys are curious about which characters I personally really want to see get into the game, to be honest with you guys, there's really no more character that I really need to have inside of Smash. The only character that I really wanted was a character from Xenoblade 2. I played that game in 2019 and really liked it, and it just made me sad that the only Xenoblade character we had in Smash was Shulk, but we got that now with Pirate and Mithra, and my most wanted Smash character of all time was deconfirmed before the game even came out, so at this point I've got nothing to lose. And so in this video, I want to talk to you guys about which characters I feel like are the most likely to get revealed for Smash Ultimate DLC at E3. Now the first thing that I feel like is pretty important to talk about is the actual importance of E3 itself. This is an event that happens every June where so many different developers and publishers and game companies all gather together to share information about their newest games and products and excite the fans. And because of this, it's different than an actual focus presentation like a Nintendo Direct, where pretty much just Nintendo fans are tuning in to learn about the newest Nintendo games. This is going to be an event where pretty much the entire video game industry is always going to be watching each other's presentations. There's going to be Ubisoft fans, there's Square Enix fans, there's Microsoft fans, there's Xbox fans, and Nintendo fans. So many people all gather together to watch all of these presentations and see the big announcements. And so knowing this in mind, I feel like it's important that the character that does get revealed for Smash at E3 is actually a big popular character that's easily recognizable because this is going to be a time where the entire video game industry is going to be watching Nintendo's presentation. And I'm like 99% sure that last year if we did have an E3 presentation, Minecraft Steve was definitely supposed to be like the E3 character reveal. It just makes a ton of sense, like that easily would have been a character that the entire video game industry would have been losing their minds over watching Nintendo's E3 then and seeing Minecraft Steve getting into Smash, but because we didn't have it they had to do like their own special reveal for that. And I've got a chart here that actually shows the sales popularity of all the characters that we've gotten for Fighters Pass 2. And obviously Steve is like a huge outlier in this, which is making this very, very hard because Minecraft is actually the most popular video game of all time. So it's got 200 million sales, which is a huge, huge outlier compared to the rest. But we can see right here that Min Min and Pirate and Mithra are definitely among the kind of smaller sales here. And then of course we've got Sephiroth, but Final Fantasy 7 as, as a whole is like a very, very big represented JRPG game. Like in terms of that, genre Final Fantasy 7 is like one of the biggest games of all of the JRPG games so I think that it makes a lot of sense with the sales that it has so it's actually really really popular for the genre and I'm pretty sure for the sales number in that I actually included Final Fantasy 7 the original as well as the remake which came out and of course there's been other re-releases like on the PS4 and the Switch so that number is probably not completely accurate but it still gives you a good idea of where Sephiroth is. And so because the last DLC character was Pirate and Mithra from Xenoblade 2, which isn't like an incredibly well-selling game at only 2 million units, I do think that the next character, especially at E3, when like I mentioned the whole video game industry is watching, the next character definitely has to come from like a very popular type of game in my opinion, and definitely one that pretty much everybody is going to recognize and get really hyped over. 
So the first character that I feel like really fits this criteria is of course Crash Bandicoot. I mean pretty much in any Smash Predictions video Crash Bandicoot is in there. He is a highly requested character and so many people would love to see Crash Bandicoot get into the game and I think it would just be so cool because of the rivalry that Crash and kind of Mario had back in the day. I mean if you guys don't remember there used to be like crazy rivalries between these characters and their systems and their platforming games. I mean like there was literally an ad where Crash Bandicoot went to Nintendo headquarters and was like yelling stuff and taunting Mario's games while saying that Crash's games were better. It was just so funny, the rivalry that these two characters had back in the day. And so to have this character get into Smash Bros and be like, well now, Crash and Mario can just fight together in this game, it would be so cool. I mean, they kind of did the same with like Sonic, where Sonic and Mario used to have a rivalry back in the day as well, and now they're both together inside of Smash. So I just feel like having Crash in here would be so good. He's definitely a very iconic character. And of course, the most recent Crash game, Crash Bandicoot 4, recently just came out on the Nintendo Switch as well. So I feel like he would definitely be a perfect character. The next character that I've got here that I feel like is pretty likely is Dr. Eggman. We only have one Sonic character inside of this entire game, and before Smash Ultimate came out, so many people were speculating that Shadow was going to end up being an Echo Fighter, or that we were going to be getting Knuckles or Tails or anybody, and that just didn't happen. So I feel like Dr. Eggman would be a really good character, mainly for the reason that this game, it really seems like with Smash Ultimate, they're really doing a focus on like the villainous characters. Like they put in Wolfback, we got King K. Rule, we got Sephiroth, we got Ridley, like so many of these villain characters are getting into the game, and Dr. Eggman is really like one of the ones that is just missing here and it would just be really amazing to finally get him in the game. The next two characters that we've got here are Doom Slayer and Master Chief, and I feel like that both of these characters would be really, really nice to have inside of Smash Bros. What's kind of funny now is both of these characters can be considered Microsoft characters because Bethesda is owned by Microsoft, and in terms of Smash Bros, I don't think that we actually have like a dedicated first-person shooter type of character in the game. I guess you could say Samus is, but like in terms of like shooting games, I mean we have games that, we have like characters that come from shooter games, like I guess you could say Kid Icarus kind of, and definitely Splatoon, and maybe even Star Fox, but in terms of a dedicated first person shooter, we're still kind of missing that and I feel like that Doom Slayer or Master Chief would definitely be able to help with that. Another character that's also highly requested is Sora from Kingdom Hearts. Pretty much any time that Nintendo announces that there is going to be a Smash reveal, Sora is like one of the highest trends and there's always thousands of people talking about Sora. And pretty much even in the fan polls that we've done asking people for which characters they would want to see, Sora is like the highest in terms of so many different countries. So a lot of people really want to see Sora get into this game. And of course the hardest part of this is the fact that he's kind of owned by Disney and we know how Disney is with working with other companies. So that's what a lot of people are thinking is kind of making it hard for Sora. But then again, you never really know what they can do with this game. People said that Banjo would have licensing issues with Microsoft and he got into the game. People said that Ridley was too big and he still got into the game. Anything is still possible, so I feel like that just because he's owned by Disney doesn't mean that it wouldn't happen. I'm sure that Disney is aware of how popular Smash Bros is and how big of a deal it would be if Sora was inside of that game. And so those are really like my biggest predictions, but of course there's a lot of other fan favorite characters that people would really like to see as well. I always see Shantae trending, people are always asking about Phoenix Wright, as well as Dante from Devil May Cry, so there's of course still a lot of other options. Now I tweeted about this on Twitter and I said, alright without a doubt the next Smash DLC is 100% being revealed at E3 2021. Making a predictions video and want to include some of your thoughts, who do you think has the best chance to be revealed at E3, not who's your most wanted? Reply and you could be featured in my next video. Alright, so looking at some of your responses, the first one that we've got here is from Dunderduck, who says, hmm, this is tough. If it can't be my most wanted, then who? I'll be honest, I think that Crash is going to be revealed at E3. He's a popular character from the 90s, and his series isn't represented in Smash yet, so if they didn't reveal him at the Game Awards, they definitely will now. And I mean, I've talked about Crash, I mean, I definitely think that he is a character that deserves to be in this game, and I feel like that he has a really good chance because of how iconic and popular he is. Next up we've got Damn Daniel saying, I think that Master Chief is very possible, and I've also talked about this as well, I think that either Master Chief or Doom Slayer both coming from first person shooter games, I think that they're pretty likely to happen. Eclipsio here is saying Lloyd Irving, and this is also a character that I see from time to time when talking about Smash predictions. I don't know much about this character, but I think that he's from like the Tales franchise, and I do want to get into those games at some point because I really like RPG games, so I feel like that he will be a pretty cool character. Sam here is saying, I would like to see a big third party character in the vein of Crash Bandicoot, Eggman, or Tracer. And that's what I feel like would need to happen as well. Like, especially in terms of like the E3 announcement, there's going to be the entire video game industry watching. So to just have it be like another Nintendo character, like a Pokemon or a Mario character, even a Zelda character, as much as I love Zelda, I just don't think it would be that big. For an E3 reveal, they really got to do something kind of big and crazy for third party, like what they did with Banjo in 2019. 
And finally, the last one that we've got here is from Zach, who's saying, I still find it a bit suspicious that Dragalia Lost has zero representation in Smash, yet several Smash reps have appeared as event characters in Dragalia Lost. Either it's an elaborate setup for a reveal or I'm crazy. Now, the thing about Dragalia Lost in general is that this is a Nintendo game, but the thing is, like, Dragalia Lost is only on mobile, so it would be kind of cool to finally get a Dragalia Lost character, because the thing about that is it would also be, like, the first mobile game character that I think would get into Smash Bros, and it would make a lot of sense to be from a Nintendo game. It wouldn't be like a third party uh, mobile game character either. So it would just be really, really cool. And I think that Dragalia Laws getting a lot of representation in Smash with a character and stuff will get more people excited to get the app, which would be nice as well. And then who knows, maybe it could actually turn into something kind of cool for Nintendo and we could even get like a Dragalia Laws type of game on the Nintendo Switch. But yeah, there you go guys, those are all of my predictions for who I think is going to be the Smash character that's going to be revealed at E3. If you guys enjoyed this video, then definitely be sure to click that like button, and also comment down below and let me know what you guys think, what is a character that you really want to see get into Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, and who do you think is going to be revealed at E3. Definitely be sure to comment down below and let me know. If you're new to this channel, then please be sure to subscribe, I'm definitely going to have some more Smash Bros. content in the future, so definitely be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on that. Click on that bell to become a part of the notification squad. Go follow me on Twitter at @joearrow so you can be featured in videos, and also join my Discord server as well. We've got a bunch of people in there who are always talking about Pokemon and Smash Bros and Nintendo, so definitely be sure to join that. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching.